children and welcome to Wednesday's phonics lesson. So today we're going to begin by recapping our phase five songs using phonics play. So I've logged in already and I've gone onto the flashcard game so you can do this after we've done this all together and I'd like to see how fast you can go through all of the sounds today and make sure you send me an email so I know who is the quickest. So we'll do them all together now to recap. Ooh. A. O. I. E. O. A. F. I. O. E. W. Oi. E. O, U, Ow, O, good job, 18 graphemes we've just done there in 43 seconds. So can you pause the video now, log into Phonics Play and have a go at doing the flashcard game and see if you can beat my time, okay? So you can do that now and then once you've done that, come back to the board for your lesson today and we're going to be looking at some more tricky words. So yesterday we looked at three phase five tricky words and we had to go at writing them, we had to go at saying them, we had to go at putting them in a sentence. So we're going to do the same again today but with some different words. So first up we've got the word misses. There it is, capital M, misses. So a little bit like mister, if you are a lady and you get married, you are a missus, so you might have Mr and Mrs, okay? A M, a R and a S, Mrs. In my yellow star over here today, what word can you see? Again, it is a tricky word, so we can't sound it out. We've got to look at it, remember what it says to help us read. And it says, called. Well done if you got that right. I called my mum. I called the doctor, okay? And our last tricky word today in the green star at the bottom what can you see well done if you are saying asked you ask a question you asked for a drink with your lunch I asked my teacher for help so Mrs called and asked so we're going to play that little quick game now but I'm going to stay quiet and I'm going to point at a tricky word star and when I point at it I'd like you to shout it out and tell everybody in your house what word it is Okay, but they're going to be all muddled up and you've got to keep an eye on my finger because I might go to the same star more than once and then I might go over here. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Starting over here. Good job, did you keep up with me? Send a little video, again, of doing your words now. Brilliant job. Now if you want to write these words down on your whiteboard or if you want to make some word cards, you could add the words from yesterday as well and build them up across the week and you can play that game at home with your grown up, okay? So you can have them all spread out on the floor or on the table and your grown up can point at the words and you've got to call them out. Or you could be the teacher and you could do it for your parent or your brother or your sister too. So lots of practicing of reading these tricky words. One more time, Mrs. Called asked. Well done. So now you need your whiteboard because we're going to practice writing them. We're going to move the shape, say the word and write it down. Thinking about our handwriting today. So the first word, I'm going to move my shape, is what? What word can you see here? Called. Good job. Called. So we're going to have a go at writing it twice. Starting with a curly K on the line, called. Nice tall ladder letters for the U and the D. Have a look at mine, have a look at yours. Have you spelt it correctly? Good job, and I'd like you to write it once more. Called. 
and start to have a think when you're writing your tricky word. What sentence could you write with that word called? Okay, going to move the next shape. Have a think about what other words we read at the beginning. Which one is it going to be? What can we see here now? Misses. Well done if you got it right. Misses. We need a capital M for misses. So remember, it looks like this. And thinking about your lead stroke, thinking about your line. Misses. Look back on the board now to check you've done it correctly and then have a go once more at writing it down. Thinking about your handwriting and thinking about your letter formation. And also, what sentence could you use that word in? Okay, what does it mean? Last one. Can you remember what the third tricky word was today? Well done if you said it was asked. Asked. Okay, got a sk in there. Asked. So have a go now, starting with your a. And you can spell it out to help you. But remember, we don't sound it out when we write these words or we read them. They are tricky words, so we have to remember what they say. Asked. And it's a kicking k in the middle, not a curly k. When you're doing your spellings, write it once more. Thinking about your handwriting. Asked. I asked a question. Lovely. So we've got called. Misses and ask today. Those are our three new tricky words. So check them now. Have a bit more practice if you want to. Grown ups, if you check your child's handwriting and if they've done anything a little bit wrong or if they need a bit of help, pause the video now, model the word underneath and get your child to copy them underneath as well. Keep on practicing them until you've got them perfect and send me a photograph. Brilliant. Okay, so for our reply, thinking about our tricky words. We've got Mrs, called and asked. And I'd like you to write me three sentences now. Think about capital letters, full stops and finger spaces. And also have a think about what phase five sounds you can use in some words in your sentence. So one sentence using the word Mrs, one sentence using the word called, and one sentence using the word asked. And if you can use some phase five sounds and do your spellings correctly, I'll be sending out some marvellous me badges too. Okay, so thinking about applying all of that phase five not le learning we've done, all of our knowledge into this lesson today, okay? So I'll see you again tomorrow for some new tricky words. Don't forget to send me a photograph and also a little video of you doing my reading game with those stars. Okay, well done year one and I'll see you tomorrow.